Inaugurating the event, Governor Biano said that the two themes share a common concern about agriculture and hunger, which clearly confirmed that agribusiness is a great avenue to achieving economic development and stability for a sustained future. The governor stated that major performance indicators point to a positive growth in the 2018 wet planting season, with over 1,000 new farmers duly registered within seven months, bringing the number from 109,137 in 2017 to 110,144 farmers. While calling on Ndanambra to take advantage of the agri-revolution in the state and apply for loans, the governor pointed out that rice production rose from 244,235 metric tons in 2016 to 345,000 metric tons in 2017 and stands at 440,000 metric tons by the end of 2018 while cassava production shot up from 1,792,596 in 2016 to 1,881,589 metric tons in 2017 and maize production increased from 39,000 902 to 43,521 metric tons in the last planting season, which evidently increased land utilization due to influx of more people into the agriculture sector. When I look at the sense of our national economy, I feel justified in my decision to make agriculture the number one pillar of my country. As a pursuit of this, we have set out Side of um, using our efforts to mechanize agriculture in 2019, we have made adequate arrangements to provide more access to capital intensive farm machinery like tractors and other equipment of our farm of our farmers. To achieve this, we have finalized plans to invest the sum of 1.5 billion to develop 45,000 hectares of land within our community. The Commissioner for Trade and Commerce, Dr. Christian Madubuko, said that the fair provides a platform for Ndianambra and investors to showcase their products and services, while the Commissioner for Agriculture, Mechanization, Processing and Export, Mr. Afam Mbanefo, stressed that activities and efforts in the ministry now gears towards increased promotion of agriculture as a business. Thank the Executive Governor of Anambra State, His Excellency, Chief Dr. Willie Odiano for his usual support to this type of occasion and promoting development in Anambra State. Uh, the fact that you are a very good um, supporter of collaboration and the reason why we, we decided to collaborate as a ministry with the uh, Ministry of Commerce and Industry and ANSIPRA uh, is because we think agribusiness. And Your Excellency, for the fact that the things that we have done and what you have asked us and promised us and supported us to do is very towards developing agriculture as a business. The chairman, Anambra Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Mr. Humphrey Ngonade, represented by Mr. Uche Apakama, applauded the tax incentives of the governor but expressed worry about touts who, according to him, flout the directive and called for total enforcement. To thank the Excellency for the tax incentives provided in Anambra State. By the same time, we are worried about the touts who harass people who come in for commercial activity in Anambra State. We believe that the Netherlands has made a statement, but yet it's not been enforced fully. They will request the Excellency to get the security agency to ensure that all the towns who collect tolls along the road and markets stop the activities. That's our prayer, Your Excellency. The chairman. Trade Fair Planning Committee, Sir Chris Okachuku, said that the choice of Onisha as the venue for the event is strategic because it is the largest commercial city in the Southeast and West Africa. From the Chubai Bazu Stadium, Onisha, Ejike Abana, ABS News.